What's going on guys, Dots here, and today's video is going to be a very quick rotation guide for Bloody Monastery. The goal for these rotation guides is to be quick and to the point, showing you everything you need to know about a grind spot in as little time as possible. Now before we do head out to grind, we need to make sure our character is set up with the right buffs so that we are optimizing our time spent grinding. If you're new and don't know what buffs you need, I have a guide listed in the description below that will explain this topic in depth. But before we do get started on today's guide, I do just want to thank today's sponsor, Ewin Racing. Ewin Racing is a company that I've worked with for a very long time now because I've used their products for a very long time. I think I've used their desk chair now probably for a good four years, and I just recently got their newest upgraded champion chair for my setup, and I really, really like it. It's definitely a massive quality increase from their previous chairs. You have a built-in lumbar support on the chair the leather is a higher quality the leather is also thankfully perforated because you know it can easily get warm in my office so it's nice to have perforated leather that i'm sitting on you have fully adjustable armrests you can obviously tilt the chair forward and backward you can move the backrest um and the build quality of the chair is just very solid and the packaging of the chair is very good they really did upgrade the packaging and everything is really really nice and protected the directions are simple and easy to put the chair together so i definitely can recommend their products because i do use them every single day if you guys do want to grab one of their gaming chairs or their gaming desks you can use my code dots for 30 percent off on their website link in the description below all right, guys, so now that we are back from the ad break, let's get into today's guide for Bloody Monastery. So Bloody Monastery is going to be located just southwest of Heidel. This is going to be an Elvia spot that's going to require 280 AP and 340 DP. Ignore my stats. I have my uh, Node War gear on, so feel free to ignore that. Uh, the mob type here is human. Like I did say, this is an Elvia spot requiring 280 AP and 340 DP. This is going to be... Mostly, I would say a trash spot, but a lot of your money here does come from getting these moons split nails. So if you combine those with the cold tears of the black sun, which you need to turn into liberated breath of Sylvia, you can create a revived lunar necklace that will sell for a good bit of money. You can also do get these seeds of the voids and the narcs lightning, which you are able to sell. Um, and then it's also good to get the Shard of the Drain Knight to help craft your cups. So overall, it's a pretty solid spot. If we look up at the chart here, as you can see, Bloody Monastery, it competes with the likes of, you know, Jade Starlight Forest, Swamp Fogans, Root to Mount Station, Swamp Naga. So it's a pretty solid, like, mid-range spot. I do think maybe for like this APDP, there could be some spots that are a bit better. Um, but if you know, if you, you know, need the cups, especially, this is a great spot to grind because these shards of the Drain Knight don't necessarily come from a lot of spots. Um, this isn't an Aegris spot. Um, I think for in terms of the trash, level one gauge is probably enough here. But if you're like someone like me and you just have a crap load of item collection scrolls, feel free to toss that level two gauge on. Now, in terms of where you want to put your tent, I like to put my tent right at the node manager right near Anna Lynn. So if you just right click the Bloody Monastery node, it will take you right to her. She also does have some daily quests that you can feel free to pick up. I then put my tent and my horse right over here because the rotation is right over yonder. Thankfully, the rotation here is really straightforward. It is essentially just one big circle. I'm just going to run through it. So when you start, you obviously kill those dudes, these guys these guys and just basically in a straight line these guys and then we go up this way directly into the little keep here we then swing to the left pick up these guys zigzag over here to grab these guys on the left hit these dudes over here these guys over here and then i basically after i kind of do that little zigzag i'll jet straight ahead do a big aoe to pick up all these packs over here then go straight through Grab these guys, these guys, if you want to, you can also extend and hit these guys back here. Then once you kill all these mobs, let me just get past these guys. You go down the road, this pack, this pack, keep going down the road, pick up this pack. You can also extend up this way, grab this pack here, this pack up here, this pack up here, and then jump down the rocks. If you don't have like an Elvia weapon, if you're not over clearing, you don't have to do that little extension up there. Grab these guys over here. Keep going down the road. You will then grab these guys over here. 
this pack right here this pack over here grab these guys all near the gate over here this pack on the left this pack on the right and just like that you're back at the beginning you can go and back over here kill these guys you know all these dudes over here and then just go straight through and go back into the keep and just like that you have done the bloody monastery rotation very very easy rotation uh no crazy mechanics that you really super need to worry about here it's fairly straightforward um you know like most of these kind of mid-range you know it's like 600 mil type spots are i don't feel like there's usually too many mechanics overall here um so very easy to do the rotations here and and just like that you're pretty much good to go it's a nice chill spot to grind at makes you some pretty solid money it can help you work towards those cups uh for your accessories so guys i do hope you found this rotation guide helpful if you did please feel free to leave a like on it for some reason if you have any questions about the spot feel free to leave them below and of course subscribe for more bdo guides and gameplay i do have a couple more rotations on my list i think about three more that i want to do and then i feel like i'll have hit the major rotations that um you know players who are like new to mid game would really want to worry about and then after that i'm going to probably update my season guide and then maybe do some zerk guides to close out the rest of 2023 so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the video thank you so much for stopping by and watching as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all next time